Alessandra exemplifies the core objective that the Human Rights Award has had since its inception, to recognize some of the most courageous people in the world who stand out, protecting their communities by speaking their truth to power. Alessandra, you are without any question whatsoever one of the most courageous human rights defenders in our hemisphere, if not on the planet. Mas estou aqui para dizer que o nosso território não está à venda. O nosso rio não está à venda. A vida do nosso povo não está à venda. Nós merecemos respeito e temos o direito de ser consultado. Queremos ter o direito de dizer não que os outros países respeitam todos os povos indígenas. Saúde, saúde, saúde. Something very positive is happening in Brazil. Never the Indian movement in Brazil was as organized as it is now. There is really a strong movement of resistance in Brazil. From day one, his regime has worked to erase a generation of socio-environmental progress, slashing budgets, gutting institutions, and openly targeting communities responsible for defending the forest. His regime's deliberate mismanagement of the coronavirus pandemic has allowed COVID-19 to proliferate in indigenous communities with deadly consequences. The Munduruko peoples are entitled to rights. They deserve respect. They need to be considered before any action is performed in their territory because they have that right. This is our fight. This is the only way we can go. We know that we are fighting for our survival, for our children, for our land and for our river. We want to make sure that uh, the lives of the of our children and our descendants are guaranteed. And now it is my great, great honor to present Alessandra with the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Award.